If you use a microscope to look at an object, you can see its microscopic structure. Imagine that your microscope had such a high magnification that you could see its atomic structure. You would see that all of the object's atoms and molecules are in constant motion. The motion gives kinetic energy to these vibrating particles. This type of kinetic energy is known as thermal energy. Thermal energy is internal energy that is possessed by an object or a system due to the constant movement of particles within the object or the system. Let's learn more about solar and thermal energy on Earth. The main source of energy in our solar system is the Sun. It's the major source of energy on Earth, too. The Sun is a main sequence star, meaning that like 90% of stars, it releases thermal energy through nuclear fusion in its core, where mass is converted to energy. During the nuclear fusion process, extremely high temperature and pressure force together four hydrogen atoms to form one helium atom. Since the helium atom has less mass than four hydrogen atoms, the excess mass is converted into energy. The Sun converts 4.27 million tons of mass to energy every second. This mass is released as electromagnetic radiation in the form of high-energy atomic particles and photons. Many of these bounce around in the Sun, making it hot enough to sustain its fusion reactions. However, some of the electromagnetic radiation escapes into space. A tiny fraction of this solar radiation reaches Earth, where it is absorbed and converted into thermal energy. This thermal energy is in turn transferred from one object or system to another in the form of heat. The Sun's energy drives processes on Earth that are essential for life. The Sun heats up Earth's atmosphere, driving climate and weather. It also heats Earth's oceans, creating currents that circulate around the globe. The Sun's energy explains why the poles are colder than the tropics, because the poles receive less solar energy per unit area than the tropics. We can use this energy as an alternative power source by converting it to electrical or thermal energy. Earth has its own sources of thermal energy, too. The center of the Earth is at a temperature of about 6,000 degrees Celsius. There are a number of sources of Earth's internal energy. The main source is radioactive elements and isotopes in Earth's core, mantle, and crust. These elements generate radiogenic heat through the process of radioactive decay. This is the source of geothermal energy that drives the process of plate tectonics and provides a potential source of renewable energy. We see the effects of this energy at volcanoes and hot springs.